All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Studios in the Northeast. It's 120,000 degrees outside. We're all about to melt, and we got tornado warning starting at 4 o'clock. Trump wins. All hysteria will happen. Uh, just real quickly, before we get started, put in your comment links down below. I want to start in the comment section down below. What do you think is going to happen if Trump wins? What do you think is going to happen if Biden wins? I mean, right now, you got to think about the Democratic Party. They're rolling over on this poor old dude, man. He shows he just had a one bad night. Come on, just a bad night. But shame on, the, shame on those guys for trying to hide his existing conditions so past that they would put the party, him, above the country, the welfare of the country. And that's what kills me about these people. So George Clooney's calling for him to fall out. Everybody's happening. Bill Maher and all the other need jazz. So what's going to happen when Trump wins? And he probably will. But here's the thing. Uh, you can anticipate Antifa is going to be doing their thing. You can anticipate that uh, they're going to be boarding up Portland. They're going to take over places. And that's going to be the real insurrection. you got to think about it. Uh, they call January 6th an insurrection. You know, to a degree, they got a little out of hand, right? Uh, but the only person that got killed was one of the protesters and uh, maybe shouldn't have been jumping through a window But I'm not gonna make that call. So anyway, the big thing is you can anticipate that the streets are gonna be boarded up They're gonna bust in stores. There's gonna be riots all over the place I feel sorry for the people who work real hard who built their businesses to know that uh, You know, maybe they support this guy uh, Biden and it's gonna be their people their individuals who will burn these cities down because they don't like what's going on. And where this country's heading is a real nasty thing, right? Uh, real quick interruption, uh, guys, uh, Disaster Pastor, I'm gonna put the link down below. If you would go over there and take a look at his website, uh, he does work for all these places where they've got hurricanes. They're looking for some help over there. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that out there. Secondly, we did a video last night on the X2 Dev Group barrel. Uh, a lot of people brought up the idea of Criterion. Yes, the barrel's very expensive, uh, but there are other barrels out there. When you get to that level, the money's not really an object. I am going to rethink this thing though. I'm gonna take my go gun. I'm gonna pull a Seekins Precision Bull Barrel because I, I, felt, I picked up on something. They're saying that this thing is supposed to perform as well as a bull barrel. So we're gonna do a comparison. I am actually gonna scope out the Seekins Precision. We're gonna put a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm gonna put two rifles together with both of those barrels and we're gonna see how they perform. Okay, uh, point of impact shift, that kind of thing. All right, back to it. Yeah, put it down in the comment section down below. What are your plans when Trump wins this thing? It's gonna be interesting, but all hell's gonna break loose. The world's gonna go crazy. I would like to know what the damn Democrats are going to be doing. They have a, a candidate. They got a guy that's sitting in the White House right now that's in pretty much incapacitated. And again, shame on these people for trying to cover for this guy. He's been sharp as a tack, sharp as a whip. Uh, he gets up. He's been doing handstands. He's got a six handicap. Should be interesting. If you watched the rally last night for Bill, uh, what is his name, uh, Donald Trump. He was playing spa music in the background, giving a soothing voice. He's coming across, he's not trying to be the angry guy like he used to be. Biden's being the angry guy because he's trying to be angry, he's shaking his fist up and down like this, the New World Order, right? With his Marine sitting in the background on a red carpet and the red drapes looking like a swastika should belong back there. In any case, uh, that's it. It's a very short video. Uh, we are going to be doing a review. They actually sent this out to me. This is a charging handle. We'll be doing a review on that. And then I have this guy, Votato. We'll be doing a video review on this thing. It's kind of like a Hall of Sun remake. And then we got some other things that are going on pretty cool. Uh, so with that being said, guys, it's KB32. I'm back. I'm ready. And yeah, by the way, I shaved and got a haircut. It was kind of interesting. Uh, I'm back to doing videos. This is something that I love to do. It's hard to do it when it's 100,000 degrees outside, but I can't wait to take these rifles and uh, shoot them out the distance. We're going to go back out to Mifflin County Sportsman's Association, get that rocking and rolling. It's going to be a lot of fun. We always end them like this. God bless America. God bless America. God, shit, hold on. Always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for freedom, because freedom is not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. The sun is going in and out of behind the clouds. Y'all be good. KB32, I am out of here. Boom. Lancer. No.
Yes, Lantech. Okay, that's it. I've lost my touch. Got to get back into it. See you.